Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Ibo police arrest 105 kidnappers and 45 terrorists in one year. Protest rocks at Dekuli Ajasin University over incessant road accidents. Former head of interim national government Ernest Shunekom buried in Lagos. Minister of Police charges police public complaints committee to be transparent. The remains of the former head of interim national government Ernest Shunekom has been buried in Lagos. Shunekon was buried at Ebony Vaults in Ikoi, Lagos on Friday after a funeral held at the Cathedral Church of Christ. Dignitaries including Vice President Yemi Shimbajo, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation Boss Mustafa, Minister of Information Lai Mohammed, former Head of State Yakubu Gowan, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, Ogun State Governor Dapwa Biodun, and the Governor of Edo State Governor Obaseke graced the service. Osimbajo, who led the federal government delegation, described the late Shuneko as a man of integrity, saying he studied Nigeria's ship at a turbulent time. Chief Shuneko died on January 11th at the age of 85. The Imo State Police Command says its operatives have arrested 105 suspected kidnappers and 45 terrorists between January 2021 and January 2022. The Commissioner of Police, Rabi Husseini, said this at the command's headquarters in Oweri, the Imo State capital, while briefing Governor Hopuzadi Mahu paid a visit to the command to interact with officers and men of the command. Uzodima, while lauding the effort of security agencies in fighting crime, noted the successes recorded are unprecedented. <music> Students of Adekunle Adjassin University, Akumba, in Ondo State, have protested against incessant road accidents near the school campus, mostly caused by heavy trucks plying the university community. The protesters come in days after a road accident claimed the life of a former student of the institution, identified as Michael, in one of the troubled spots in Akumba town. It was gathered that a hit-and-run truck driver who killed the young man was trailed to neighboring town of Akoko, where he was arrested around 10 p.m. on Thursday. Police Affairs Minister Mohamed Meigari Dinyadi has charged members of the Police Public Complaints Committee to be transparent on the discharge of their duties to give confidence and assurance of fairness to be just and equitable in their dealings. He stated this during the sensitization campaign on the Police Public Complaints Committee activities for the Northwest, which held in Sakoto State. The minister said the committee is not out to which aren't the men and officers of the Nigeria police force. Rather, it's to work in synergy with the police to ensure it carries out its mandate effectively. He says Public Complaints Commission deals generally with all kinds of complaints against administrative injustices by public institutions while the police public relations while the police public complaints committee is created as a specialized institution as a specialized institution to deal strictly with public complaints against police personnel.